Jack Burleson. You know, Jack said he wanted to be a fireman when he finished high school. And back then, if you asked him why, he said, well, I want to help people. But we hope that Jack realizes certainly he is helping people. We hope he realizes certainly a lot of folks, including everyone here tonight, considers him a hero. Thank you, Jack, for giving us hope and inspiration. Thank you for being Jack. What do you want to do after high school? After high school, I need to be a fireman. Why do you want to be a fireman? Because he help the people. Jack Burleson is 18 years old. He has a rare disorder called OFD, Oral Facial Digital Syndrome. He hates loud noises. He wasn't potty trained until he was 12. Because of poor eyesight, he can't read. Well, he can't read words, but he can read people. What do you not like when people do? Make fun of me. What kind of things they make fun of you about? Uh, about my hair and my pants. It made me feel sad. OFD is a rare genetic disorder that causes deformities in the mouth, hands, and face. It also limits intellectual ability. Jack, for instance, thinks like a five or six year old. Life expectancy is normal. Little else is. He had a cleft palate and he had an extra finger and he was really, really slow to develop. I mean, he didn't walk until he was four. Had you also sort of written off the experience of sitting in stands and watching your son compete? Um, yeah, I, I kind, of, kind of wrote that off, you know, a long time ago with, 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 with Jack. Jack's a senior at Del Oro High School in Northern California. Hallways have always been cold, empty places. He spent most of his time in special ed classes. The things that bring most people his age together, school, sports, love, have always separated him. A boy alone. He doesn't really have a lot of friends, you know, who come over and, well, he doesn't really have any friends that spend time with him. One of my biggest fears is that he was gonna be, you know, picked on. Um, and it's, I think it does a lot for my childhood because, you know, needless to say, I picked on kids, you know, they were different. One day, uh, my mother asked me, hey, we can't let me sleep. I say, okay. And my dad asked me, hey, how to let me out? I say, do it. He came out and there was about 170 athletes on the team. Just a lot of people. So I think it might have been a little overwhelming. So he hung out, he actually sat in the stands from what I remember the first few practices. And we began kind of forming some sort of plan so that he could race, but yet in a way that would work for him. Jack joined the track team as a sophomore in 2010. A few weeks into the season, he would run his first race, designed just for Jack to run alone. And I was a little bit scared that first time. And Jack was running so fast that he ran out of his shoes. His shoes came off and he got real upset. Jack didn't race for the next two years. Then came Jack's senior year, class of 2012. His team wanted him to race, but this time it would be different. Jack would never run alone again. Let's run with Jack. It uh, was just an idea. We just came up with it and said, hey, why don't we run with Jack and let's push him. We saw Jack kind of lit up. You can see that he wants to compete. And to seeing him get out there and be new people and everyone being, like, getting to come around him and talk to him got me more to like, hey, just go with it and just be happy and just do what you do that makes you happy. He doesn't use blocks. He told our coach he doesn't like the blocks and he doesn't like the gun. So everybody gets lined up next to him and then 
They blow the whistle and Jack takes off and everybody oh. kind of lags behind just a little bit. So he can obviously push himself. He looks up at the crowd and he looks around and he just has this amazing smile. You can tell he's running as fast as he can. <laughs> When you're running, can you hear the crowd? Yeah. When you hear the crowd cheering, what do you do? I just keep running. And you're faster. Come on, come on, Jack! Woo come on, Jack! Go! Go, Jack! Go, Jack! Go, Jack! Woo! The, uh, the presenters for this award include Tanya Hughes, who is the United States Olympian, Keith Harrison, who is the interim chair of the DeVos Sports Business Management Program at the University of Central Florida, and Dan Guerrero, who is the director of athletics at UCLA, and reading the inscription, Dick Batchelor of the Dick's Dick Batchelor Management Group. How many feel like I do that we should get, a, get out of here and do something? We should get out of here and do something tomorrow, shouldn't we? The 2014 Giant Steps Award winner, Hero Among Us, Jack Burleson, we honor you for crossing the finish line first in life by bringing together a group of runners who are different from each other and challenge them to believe in you and themselves. You're a hero who has touched and inspired everyone you have met, including us tonight. Congratulations. Well, I'm going to introduce my son, Jack Burleson, and we're so honored that the NCAS chose to honor Jack. And um, also, we have the producer of the Jack Heat's, Jack's Heat video here, Martin K. <laughs> wanted him to talk a little as well. But um, it just is amazing that Jack's um, running track had such an impact on folks and that it's caught on. and that there's Jack's heats now that are being run around the country and we really hope that it continues and that's Jack's legacy. So thank you so much for honoring us and Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, <coughs> excuse me, thank uh, you, uh, and be here with me. Um, thank you, brother Alex, for making you run. Uh, I want to thank you, my brother Alex, and me, make me run. Thank you, parents, for being there for you. Uh, thank you, my... My mother and my dad and me and you for me. Thank you to keep me from being so tall. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It'll work, trust me. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. Uh, thank you for everybody keep me here tonight. Can we take a selfie? <laughs> Let's get the crowd in there. <laughs> and, 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 and you. And, 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 <clears throat> And now, next, everyone. Let's party. <laughs> Let's get out of here. And, uh, uh, thank you. Okay. And that's it.
Jack, I work with Martin. He's been putting words in my mouth, too, for many years. <laughs> he does a far better job with you. All right, again, Jack, congratulations on receiving this award tonight. Uh, tell us how you're feeling right now. Uh, I feel very good. Yeah? Okay, good, good. Now, last night at the dinner, I mentioned to you that you are now a lifetime member of the consortium. What does that mean to you? How, how, how do you like that? It means next year we're going to be here. You'll be here next year? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Buy a table next to you. Buy a table? All right. Okay, I guess we're set. <laughs> now, we've got that on video, so. <laughs> um, now, Jack, I know all of your loved ones and friends couldn't be here to share this experience with you. So when you go back home, what are you going to tell them about what happened here tonight? Well, when I go back home, Did you have a good time? You had a good time? Yeah. What was the best what was the best thing about tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah. The award. The award. <laughs> okay. Mom, Dad, what are you what were you are gonna share with your family and friends about this experience here? Well, we are just gonna let everybody know what a great organization this is and you know, all the great things and activities that NCAS supports and just how what they honor Jack. We're just really excited about it. This has been exceptional. Yeah. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Great experience. Again. Thank you again. Congratulations. Here, Jack, I'll hold this so you can shake hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah.